Hello friends welcome to supreme education we are going to learn converse of tangent theorem first i'll tell you meaning of converse of any theorem and then we'll move towards converse of tangent theorem a statement that we get by interchanging given as to prove and to prove as given is called the converse of that given theorem now here tangent theorem tells us that a tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact now we'll see its converse statement of converse is a line perpendicular to a radius at its point on the circle is a tangent to that circle now we have to draw diagram first according to the given information means we have to draw one circle and a line which is perpendicular to the radius now in this diagram there is a circle with center m and segment mn is radius of that circle and line l is perpendicular to segment mn at point n line l is perpendicular to segment mn or radius mn means given is m is the center of a circle segment mn is radius m is the center of the circle segment mn is radius and line l is perpendicular to segment mn at n line l is perpendicular to segment mn at n now what is to prove here we have to prove line is tangent to the circle means we have to prove line l is tangent to this circle to prove line l is a tangent to the circle line l is tangent to the circle now we'll move towards last part of this process that is proof proof we have to prove line l is tangent to the circle and we know definition of tangent as a line which intersects a circle in one and only one point is said to be tangent to that circle means we have to show line l intersects this circle in one and only one point means there is one and only one common point between circle and line and we know that common point as point n and to show line l as tangent to the circle we have to prove no other point except point n of line l is on the circle means there is one and only one point of line l is on the circle that is point n and no other point except point n of line l is on the circle now we'll take point p other than n on line l point p other than n on line l now here we have to prove point p doesn't lie on the circle then line l will be the tangent now draw segment mp now by drawing segment mp we will get triangle mnp which is right angle triangle see this triangle mnp which is right angle triangle since mn is perpendicular to line l which is given is angle mnp is right angle hence triangle mnp is a right angle triangle now in this right angle triangle mnp angle n is right angle hence side opposite to right angle is said to be hypotenuse hence in this right angle triangle mp is the hypotenuse and we know hypotenuse is the biggest side of any right angle triangle hence mp is the biggest side of this triangle that means mp is greater than mn and mp is greater than np also now here we'll take this pair that is mp is greater than mn segment mp is greater than segment mn but segment mn is a radius now mp is greater than mn means mp is greater than radius that means point p doesn't lie on this circle it is greater than radius hence point p lies in the exterior part of this circle means point p doesn't lie on this circle or point p can't be on the circle that means no other point except point n of line l is on the circle no other point except point n of line l is on the circle hence line l intersects the circle in one and only one point that is point n that means there is one and only one common point between circle and a line that is the definition of tangent hence line l is tangent to the circle In this way we have proved converse of tangent theorem thank you